coming in, the playoffs began with a magical moment. In fact, 20 or 30 years from now, the number of people who were at Roy Halladay's playoff no-hitter will increase because of the number of people who say they were there. In the crowd of 46,411, three families saw this game, this game of a lifetime, together. Anticipation of playoff baseball. Boy, and originally, I had asked my wife if she wanted to go with me. She deferred to my son. He asked me if I was available, and no matter what was going on in my life right, right then, I made myself available. The Phillies hit the field behind the ace of aces. It was my first game to go to see Roy Holiday. It was neat getting him out of school because there was a couple other kids going, so everyone at 3 o'clock was getting their kids. It has that feel of fall. I picked up my dad. We made arrangements to go together, picked him up. We got there a couple hours before the gates opened just to be able to experience it all. We actually took an entire lap around the ballpark just to soak it in. And away we go. Bouncing ball to Jimmy Rollins. We had the best offense from the National League coming into our stadium to play the first game of the, of the National League uh, Division Series. A one, two, three start for Roy Halladay. And the throw to the plate, Victorino scores on the Phillies. Strike first as Halladay strikes him out. Fastball, call, strike three. Man, oh man. As he back doors, Scott Rowan. I listened to it on the radio. Doc Halladay is perfect for the first quarter. I knew after every inning that there was no hit, and, and I knew we had a, a good chance. Well, that's a good sign. There's a rainbow. That means there's some somewhere. Well, the first time that we thought something was on its way to being really special was when it started raining. And we had a gentleman in front of us that was scoring the game on a just a standard uh, scorebook. And my father told him, you know, this, night, this might be a night you want to make sure that stays dry. But it's another one, two, three inning for a big run. I guess it was around the fifth inning when the, the, the buzz started around the, uh, the, the, the ballpark. I was seeing, it was all zeros. I was making sure that he was eating and it started to rain and, you know, he just looked at me and said he's he's pitching at that time a perfect game. So he's the one that, that glued me in. The crowd noticed and knew that there was something definitely going on and, and you definitely recognized it when he walked the one batter. 3-2 pitch. And Bruce lays off. The just the, ah. Oh. We knew that it, with the way he was pitching, there was still a great chance that we could get a no-hitter. And then everyone was reassuring each other, going, but that's okay, it's all right. we still got the no-hitter going on, all right? Come on, Roy. And the bouncing ball out to Rollins. Getting over. Perfect game lost, no-hitter still intact. Gosh, it, it's hard to put into words, but it was, the energy there was absolutely incredible. It was like electric. A few of uh, our more superstitious neighbors around the section 145 where we were sitting started saying, don't anybody use the words. No one talks about a no-hitter, but we, we, uh, we definitely, we knew what was going on. Nobody really talked about it until the eighth or ninth, ninth inning. Nobody was, like, doing anything, like, just watching. The crowd was loud, but it was not a regular loud. It was an emotional loud. <laughs> Every pitch, uh, you know, the rally towels were going. Um, I just would keep looking over at him, and his mouth is wide open, screaming. And the ace went w up a lot. Can't even begin to tell you how loud it is here, folks. And down goes Bones. The funniest moment that I have never experienced in any of sporting event, especially the Phillies game, is the outright applause of the third out at the bottom of the eighth. But they want an out. <laughs> So they can put Roy Halliday back. I don't even care if we get another hit or another run. Let's just get Roy back up there. Make the catch, and here we go to the ninth. Roy Halliday. That third out, the whole ballpark just applauded. Yeah, all right! It got more and more emotional, and the crowd was just amazing. I've never heard it that loud in the stadiums of all my games there. Everyone was on their feet, no one left. Everyone was just in the same moment. Everyone knew. Nothing is routine at this point. Nothing makes a catch. The first out came out and everyone just, one out, one out. And then the second one is, two outs. One more, one more. The final batter, I had
to grab my camera phone and put it on video. When I see him getting the, the camera out to start videotaping fan experiences around us and videotaping he and I together and having our picture taken with the field behind us, we, we both kind of knew that something was special was happening. What the hell am I doing? I, I got to document this. So I, that's when I took it out and I watched... I'm watching the last out through my phone and above my phone and through my phone. And as I was taping on my camera phone, my hand was literally shaking because I was so nervous and so emotional at this point. One is one strike away, the 0-2, a bouncer. I thought it was a hit. I was like, I just got a freeze shot. It's almost like your heart stops. Like, is this going to happen? Is this going to happen? You wondered if it was actually going to be an out, and you thought, oh, how does it come down to, you know, this? I was, oh, God, is it going to get, I, it, ah! Ruiz! And when I saw that grounder come in front of Chooch, and then I saw him make that play at first. Everyone's friends and everyone's, you know, cheering and high-fiving and yeah, it was just amazing. The whole place just, everyone's hugging everyone and there are three people that I'm intimately uh, know now because of it. <laughs> it's the absolute best in-person baseball experience I've ever had. It was just absolutely awesome. It will probably be the most special game in my life to be there with my father. Uh, it's, un it's unexplainable. It was just amazing. I mean, no one left. I mean, everyone stayed. Uh, it was all of a sudden everyone's now trying to figure out how 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 big this moment was. It was amazing. You know, I just I wanted it for him, something that he was always going to remember. This makes it even that much more special that years from now, you know, when they talk about this, Mason can be like, I was there, and remember and see pictures and just remember that moment. So. Thank you, Roy. Thanks, Roy, for a great, great playoff experience. Thank you, Roy. Thanks, Roy, for providing me one of the greatest sports moments I've ever witnessed. Thank you, Roy. Uh, super job by the uh, team here at CBS3, Mike Henry, our uh, Emmy Award winning, multiple Emmy Award winning uh, ace editor. Uh, Manny Noguera, uh, the photographer, and of course, Andy Wheeler, the producer on that project. What a great job. All right.